I just wanted to make an awareness video for you today on types of MS. Um, I'm doing it during a relapse <laughs> to illustrate the point of some of the types of relapse, uh, sorry, types of MS and things that we go through. Um, I'm a rarer type of MS. I have primary progressive MS, active, only 5% of cases. So what's different than that? Well, as you can see, my face is broken out in a rash, swollen, twice its normal size. So is the rest of my body right now, hot like a sunburn. Why? I'm on steroids during a relapse. Quite unusual for severely progressed primary progressive MS because only 5% of cases of MS uh, are a primary progressive MS active. What is that? <laughs> In primary progressive MS, you have a slow steady progression of your MS over your lifetime of living with multiple sclerosis. You just slowly um, acquire more disability level. Uh, your symptoms slowly increase. You get more symptoms of your multiple sclerosis. If you have primary progressive active, you can actually have relapses. Relapses are a worsening new symptoms, worsening of symptoms. And it lasts more than 24 hours, so it's just not a flare, uh, a, a temporary worsening of your, your symptoms you already have with your MS. Sorry, I'm struggling during the relapse. But just wanted to show you the reality. <laughs> we usually go on camera during our good days. Um, so we can communicate more effectively. However, sometimes it's good to show the reality of what we live with. My eye, if you can see, is much smaller than the other one. This lovely rash. I have more difficulty. Uh, there we go. Aphasia. Uh, communicating. Sometimes my voice completely gives out on me. I use a home nebulizer to help that. Um, and the different types have been changed in recent years. The recognized types of MS at this point are a clinically isolated syndrome where you have one event of multiple sclerosis symptoms and you may or may not develop the disease course of multiple sclerosis. Relapsing remitting. Relapsing remitting is the most common type of MS. 80% of cases are relapsing remitting. What is relapsing remitting? That is when you have periods of sudden progression in your disease. Your symptoms will just suddenly appear new or worsening of previous symptoms. You can, in most cases, you will be sent for steroid treatment, often hospitalized for IV steroids. Some steroid treatments can be done at home. Now, we also have primary progressive MS, as I said before, but that generally does not entail those relapses I just spoke of. Secondary progressive, what is secondary progressive MS? Secondary progressive MS is a transition from relapsing remitting. So, your disease stops responding to disease-modifying treatments. Uh, there are some 
treatments that are still effective in the secondary progressive stage. There are new treatments being approved for the secondary progressive stage. However, you go from those relapsing, remitting periods, transitioning into the steady progressions we talked about with primary progressive MS. So just because you have transitioned over to the progressive stage does not mean that your treatment options are completely limited. It is not, oh, the end of my disease course. It's a new transition, a new phase of your disease. It's just fought a little different way. Also wanted to speak to the other types that used to be considered part of the model of multiple sclerosis types. Marburg variant. It is a very uh, malignant form of demilating disease. Um, the lesions are tumor-like in the brain. Yes, you will see old literature calling it Marburg MS. It used to be included in the types. Uh, it can cause death within one to two years. However, many cases are seen, seen to stabilize within three years. So it is not an immediate death sentence. I don't want anyone who hears Marburg to give up hope. I'm in a Marburg PPMS group and they can live and have a purposeful life. So keep getting information and keep fighting if you hear that term. NMO, neuromyelitis optica, used to be considered part of MS. It is a demilating disease. It also has been referred to as Devix disease. Um, there are other types that you, terms you may hear. Uh, the clinically isolated syndrome has been debated as a type and whether it will ever develop into MS, so has been taken off of many models, but there are cases of clinically isolated syndrome, so they need to know what that is. Uh, transverse myelitis is another demyelinating disease. Uh, the shape of the uh, spinal lesions is a different shape than the lesions uh, of multiple sclerosis. However, it is a very debilitating often paralytic uh, demilating disease. So there are many types in the community. Uh, you learn your types, know what they are, you can respect and support each other if you know the types. Um, one is not uh, um, more severe than the other as far as impact on that person's life, although it might be more severe of an impact of physical debilitation. They may need more support medically, so they need our support. We're one community. Thank you.